Okay, I'd like to welcome. I'd like to welcome everybody to the December 29th, 2015 special meeting of the Guyman City Council. This time, I'd like to invite the distinguished pastor Gary Holdeman of the Victory Memorial United Methodist. Oh, it's senior, not distinguished. I'm sorry, pastor of the Victory Memorial United Methodist Church, to give our invocation. Senior means old. <laughs> Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the blessings of life, for the blessings of living in this community. We thank you for these public servants, whether it's uh, fire or police or emergency services or council people. We, we thank you for their um, uh, willingness and readiness to... Uh, to serve you much like a ministry, even though it can be frustrating and, uh, and difficult uh, work. We just pray your blessing and your decisions on the meeting tonight and uh, guide them, whether they sense your guidance or not. We pray that you would guide their direction and uh, we'll give you the thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll we'll call this meeting to order. Agenda item number two is the consent agenda. In their consideration of the consent agenda to please remove PO number 15-4211 prior to accepting the consent agenda. And that motion needs to be made first to remove it and then to approve without it. I make a please. motion that we pull uh, PO 15-4211 to track men. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Crone? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Swager? Aye. King? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. Okay, agenda item number two is we'll go back to the consent agenda. Yes. Do I have a motion to approve it? Make a motion we approve the consent agenda. I'll second. As amended. Have a motion and a second. Alvedras? Aye. King? Aye. Crone? Aye. Swager? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. Agenda item number three is public comments and announcements. Public comments and announcements. Agenda item, agenda item number four is presentation of monthly activities in the financial report by Main Street Guyman Director Melinda Johnson. Wow, that was pretty fast. That's good because I'm supposed to go feed the OPSU football or basketball boys. Well, then speed it up and let's get out of here. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> okay, we're going to be fast. Cash mob. We had seven and we mobbed Gabs. This is for for November. Lunch mob, we mobbed Viardas with 13. I went, I attended a Main Street training that's required, and I, I thought this was pertinent because. Uh, Chet's always in, said I wasn't trainable, and I was. I stayed there the whole three you days. Have a I do. Okay. I might have to go make it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I can get one. It's the it's the end of the year, and uh, there's a there's a few people with the city that I really wanted to tell you were exceptional to work with on Main Street during the year. Uh, Rachel and her staff at the library. And that's been really good. They're very helpful. Um, the Main Street on Main program was awesome. Museum on Main was awesome. Pete Hedrick, I, um, he's been awesome. And then Martin and his crew, they've been very helpful. And also Dean and the firefighters. I hate saying that when he's here. So don't look at him, okay? Okay. Just and then awesome. <laughs> don't look at him because he gets a big head. And Soyla and Kim and and I just wanted to bring those up because they've been so exceptional. And speaking of exceptional, each month the city chamber 
and Main Street gets together, Kim and Jada and I, and, and uh, we, we do a community kudos. And the November community kudos is Jerry Holderman. And he left. And he left. Don't look at him, me and either. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool because it was like he showed up. He didn't know. And our Main Street Vital volunteer is Blair. Where'd she go? This is Blair. And because she works so well on the museum on Main Street that that's our, our Vital volunteer. And I just wanted you to know then we had 123 volunteer hours from 15, 52 volunteers in um, November's our catch-up month, and it's been doing very well. These, there's one of these for everybody, because we have a, each month we have a healthy moment. And I figured you all wanted to be there and just couldn't, right? It tore you up that you couldn't, right? <laughs> so I, we had some coupons left. Go ahead and take one. I don't mind giving away other people's things. Okay. Is that from Gibbs? Yeah, I didn't have to pay for them. Okay. This is this is something I brought. This is the Tulsa Journal Record. And this came out uh, Monday, last Monday. And... I don't know who else he worked with, but um, he wanted to do a focus on Guyman. So here's the the page on the the wind power. Here's a page on Tri Counties solar power. Here's the Guyman Community Theater, and then there's Main Street. So we did well, and I suspect they're all positive. I haven't read them all. Don't tell me if they aren't, because I'm pretty happy as I am. <laughs> now, I do have one other thing to tell you, and then I will leave you be to get your work done. This is the first year that uh, Main Street Guyman finished the, since I've been here, that Main Street Guyman finished well, financially. Um, we had been using cash reserves before, and they were all gone, and we finally... We'll be able to put a little, again, it was, I mean, you guys for sure, you're our, our, lar our largest helper partner, but we also had that $10,000 donated, and uh, the, the Federally Qualified Health Center has also been paying Main Street for me to work on their grant and stuff, so uh, thank you, thank you very much. And I hope next year will be even better. Questions? I don't have a question. I just wanted to bring up your television programs. I've watched a couple of them. And they are, don't make fun of me. I, I, did it. <laughs> I wasn't going to. <laughs> but they're really, they're informative. And they're really, that you guys do a good job. Yes. We try to keep them Very positive. Good. And we try to always talk about what's coming up rather than what's happened so that people can go to and be at. It's things. good material. Thank you. You're welcome. If we could just get a good host. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? I'm out of here. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. All right. Agenda item number five is discussion and possible action on approval of the final plat for Pioneer Plaza as recommended by the Planning and Zoning Commission. This is the retail space north of Walmart. Uh, the site's been inspected by Rick Schlegel, the city engineer, and the infrastructure is complete. Uh, the plat has been reviewed and approved by city attorney and advises no surety bond was required, and the plat's been reviewed and approved by the Planning and Zoning Commission, and their minutes are attached to your agenda. Any questions, discussion? Motion. Make a motion to approve the final plat for the Pioneer Plaza as recommended by the Planning and Zoning Commission. Second the motion. We have a motion and a second. Cron? Aye. Swaker? Aye. King? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. <clears throat> Agenda item number six is discussion and possible action 
on approval of the assignment of the tax rebate agreement between Land Run Commercial Real Estate, LLC, the assigner, and Pioneer Plaza, LLC, the assignee. When you drafted the original sales tax agreement for that property that we, that we just did the plat for, uh, they were operating as Land Run Commercial Real Estate. Pioneer Plaza, LLC is a subsidiary or a partner thereof um, for tax purposes, making the tax rebate match who actually owns that property is required. Um, they did this with the prior sales tax agreement as well. It's You'll notice on the signing sheet, it's the same person signing a signor and a signee, Jonathan Russell. It just requires our approval. And Mr. Petty has revert, reviewed the agreement. Any questions, discussion, motion? <clears throat> Make a motion that we approve the assignment of the tax rebate agreement. I'll second it. Have a motion and second. Alvedras? Aye. Swager? Aye. King? Aye. Crone? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. <clears throat> Agenda item number seven is discussion and possible action on the following budget amendments. 7.1 is budget amendment number one for fund 18 for an increase of $18,966. 7.2 is budget amendment number one for fund 44 for an increase of $246,095. 7.3 is a budget amendment for number two for fund number 10 for an increase of $19,400. And item, budget item number 7.4 is budget amendment number two for fund 24 for an increase of $329,000. Fund 18, those are your grants that we um, approved at the previous, a couple of previous meetings. Um, 44 is the difference in what we thought we would remodel City Hall for, and then the actual bid. Um, that should cover us for this year, and there will be a little bit left that we'll need to do in the next year, but I tried to wait until I'd seen as much as I could get. Uh, fund 10 is for golf, and that's to cover the water line um, breaks and continued um, repairs that we had to make. Fund 24 is for the difference in the Main Street contract between what was um, originally discussed and then what the bid came in as. We should see a reduction probably in that, but to get through the audit year, um, we have to transfer the money in there. We'll probably wind up transferring some back out in the next year. And they're always end of the year to make sure we as close as we can. Any discussion, questions? motion I'll make a motion we approve the following or the budget amendments I'll second have a motion and a second King aye Alvedras aye Cron aye Swager aye Peterson aye we have five ayes and I'd like to thank Rachel for reminding me that we did not do the budget amendment when we did the acceptance of the grant so she she was the reminder and I appreciate that thank you I know exactly <laughs> Agenda item number eight is discussion of possible action on approval of the payment requisitions for the City Hall renovation project. 8.1 is invoice number 120415 to Hornbeek and Blatt Architects in the amount of $1,538.40. Uh, 8.2 is application for payment number seven to Wiley Hicks in the amount of $210,000. $210, and seventy-seven dollars. Um, the Hornbeek and Blatt. Uh, the only thing that we have left, we're at 87, eighty-seven percent of construction administration. So we are just nearly finished with that. Um, he'll do the punch list and the final walkthrough, and those are the those are some of the things he has left to do. Um, Wiley is. Uh, I can't see the percentage on him. He's moved our move-in date back from the 15th to the 22nd by a week to make sure that he's absolutely complete and punch list completed before we begin to move in upon him. I've discussed that with Jim and IT and the different places that have to coordinate and, and they're okay with the 22nd. So I thought the 15th was a little ambitious. But if you haven't walked the building lately, you should. It's, it's really looking nice. 
Any discussion, questions, motion? Make a motion that we approve uh, invoice number 120415 to Hornbeck and Platt and, and also 8.2 application for payment number 7 to Wiley Hicks. A second. We have a motion and a second. Crone. Aye. Alvedras. Aye. Swaker. Aye. King. Aye. Peterson. Aye. We have five ayes. <clears throat> Agenda item number nine is discussed and possible to action to approve the renewal of the following agreements and contracts. 9.1 with Crawford Associates PC. 9.2 Finley and Cook PLLC. 9.3 is the informal interlocal agreement for joint emergency management services. 9.4 is the OPSU medical, emergency medical technology training agreement. 9.5 is IPTS. 10 is discussion and possible action on... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> well... Oh, we got to do that one. Well, it, it, it fell in line. Nine, I'm just on a roll there. Okay. Number nine is just I'm going to quit right there at 9.5. <laughs> nine, point, uh, nine is uh, renewals, which I was is... Going. Uh, I was on a roll. Woo! Crawford & Associates are... They do our... Uh, CAFR, our financials for the end of the year. Finley and Cook does the actual audit. Their amounts haven't changed this year. OPSU Emergency Medical Technology Training Agreement allows us to partner and have internships through OPSU, use our equipment. They come to our place and um, do their clinicals hands-on. Uh, that's a repeat of, I think, 2011 is when we started that one. Uh, and IBTS is the renewal of the um, contract for services. Any questions, discussion, motion? Well, Kim, I have a question. Okay. Will any of the IBTS services take over or have a potential to take over any of the agreements, say, with Crawford and Associates or Finley and Cook? Finley and Cook cannot. It has to have an independent audit. Okay. Um, as far as Crawford and Associates, they put the CAFR together for us. Um, they make sure we uh, comply with all of Gatsby's rules. Um, I feel that there will probably be some services that we take over um, that assist them. So they spend less time with us, we spend less money with them, and that we do in advance of them coming in. Um, when I was in a prior city, I did more in advance for them than we currently do. So we'll take over, we'll begin to take over some of those services, but the compilation and the verification that they comply will be more prepared. Yeah, we'll be prepared for them, but they really keep us um, ready for that audit okay. that comes in. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I make a motion that we approve the renewal of the following agreements and contracts. 9.1, Crawford & Associates, 9.2, Finley & Cook, 9.3, Informal Interlocal Agreement for Joint Emergency Management Services, 9.4, OPSU Emergency Medical Technology Training Agreement, 9.5, IBTS. I'll second it. Have a motion and a second. King? Aye. Swager? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Crone? Aye. Peterson? <clears throat> Aye. You have five eyes. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to get a drink before we start at 10. <laughs> if I get to 11, just stop me. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Agenda item number 10 is discussion and possible action to approve the renewal of the following leases for a term of one year. 10.1 is the Adrenaline Softball Association. 10.2 is the Guyman Babe Ruth Association. 10.3 is Guyman Kids Incorporated. 10.4 is ISD number 8 Edison School. 10.5 is ISD number 8, the FFA form. 10.6 is the John Reed Permit Premises. 10.7 is the Lions Club. 10.8 is Loaves and Fishes. 10.9 is No Man's Land Rifle and Pistol Association. 10.10 .10 is No Man's Land Senior Citizens Club. 10.11 is Panhandle Services for Children. 10.12 is Panhandle Win Girls Softball Association. 10.13 is Pat Milton. 10.14 is the PTSI parking lot at 5th and Ellison. 
10.15 is PTS, PTSI facility at the animal shelter. Good job. I'm going to quit. <laughs> Any questions, discussion, or motion? Make a motion that we approve the renewal of the following leases in item number 10. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Crone? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. King? Aye. Swager? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. Agenda item number 11 is discussion and possible action on the renewal of lease agreements for equipment and property. Uh, they're all listed. Ambulance, fire department, bunker gear, city national bank, bu bank building, refuse truck, a backhoe and the ladder truck. These are capital leases. Basically, we borrowed money to finance the purchase thereof. I'll make a motion that we approve the renewal of the leases agreements in item number 11. One second. I have a motion and a second. Crone? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Swager? Aye. King? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. Agenda item number 12 is discussion and possible action to appoint or reappoint members of various boards and commissions whose terms expire December 31st, 2015. There's a list of the renewals and or people that have uh, agreed to serve in place of somebody. And then you have their um, application, I guess, is the term for it in front of them, in front of you as well. Sergio, I invited them all. I did. And Lance Camp was out of town, but everybody else. Thank you. I'll make a motion that we appoint or reappoint the members of the various boards and commission whose terms have expired in December 31st, 2015. I'll second it. Have a motion and a second. King? Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Swager? Aye. Cron? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. <clears throat> Agenda item number 13 is reports and comments from city manager and council members. Anybody have any comments? Um, I want to thank uh, my two chiefs, my department heads, uh, Harold Tyson, everybody that prepared for a storm that didn't come, but they prepared for the storm that might have come, and they were well prepared. They met on Christmas Day. We had weather briefings. They gathered every time I asked them to gather and were serious about what we were doing and really, really worked hard outside of normal working hours of the city, so I can't thank them enough for that. Good job. They were ready. They were, we're ready. ready. We were ready to go. <laughs> good. Ready for the wind. Good dry, good dry run. Huh? Yeah. I want to good. compliment the street sweeper, whoever it is and whatever they're doing different. You can tell the difference when they run down my place, and it's much more improved. Okay. And the grounds, the parks. Yeah. I've gotten some compliments on the parks. Yeah, we've been trimming and trimming and trimming. Lots of things happen. Anybody else? I'm going to expand a little bit on Mrs. Meek's comment. I attended several of those little get togethers out at the emergency management, and, and our people were, were there and well prepared, as well as there was a a very good sense of cooperation between the state, county, and everybody, and I think we had some discussions after the meetings with some of the county officials about possibility of getting the activity center set up to tie a generator in so we do have a, a warming place in town without having to drive. But we were really fortunate that we didn't get it. It got awful close. So anyway, that's that's a thank you. Well, thanks. Thank you to the Lions Club. You know, they did the, their annual shopping spree for the kids, and it was in the paper, and, and that's part of the good things that happen in town. Uh, it's a little bit late, but thanks to the Chamber of Commerce and Main Street for the Christmas parade. They had a good turnout that night. I, I was working. I had to deliver some stuff to the Methodist Church, and 
I got involved and prayed, and I didn't have any lights on my pickup. I just <laughs> jumped right in. Uh, I want to thank Mother Nature for bypassing us this last weekend because we, we really are lucky we didn't get that thing. And we welcome to 200, 2016. I expect great things for Guyman next year, as we all do. Anything else? Any other comments? Any new business? We'll adjourn as uh, Guyman City Council. We'll reconvene as the, as the Guyman Utilities Authority for our December 29, 2015 special meeting. We've already done agenda item number two, one and two. Any public comments and announcements? Agenda item number four is discussing and possible action on approval of the contractor's approval for payment number six to Slattery Construction in the amount of $122,200 and 92 cents for the Guyman Northeast Pump Station. That's pay requisition number six. And I don't have it. Is that the final? Thank you, sorry, I don't. Uh, it's dated 10, 23, 15 to Yeah, amount to finish is 186. So we are just that close. Uh, they. The change order is also on here, and we'll look at that in, in a minute. But Slattery has done a, a very good job for us in all of the sewer and, and water projects they have done for us this year. Any questions, discussion, motion? Make motion that we approve payment number six to Slattery Construction. Second. Have a motion and second. Grun. Aye. Alvedras? Aye. Swager? Aye. King? Aye. Peterson? Aye. We have five ayes. Agenda item number five is discussion and possible action on change order number one for Slattery Construction Corporation for the Guyman Northeast Pump Station Re Rehabilitation and Replacement of Well Number 11A. The um, request for an increase is for the entryway, so the Northeast Pump Station is off Herleman Road, the big tank that sits on the ground that we just had repainted with our logo on it, and they built the, the pump station next to it, a new one. Uh, the increase is David Moore uh, had requested that the, the drive into it be concreted so that it wasn't a muddy mess and that there was a concrete slab laid so that if they after have to work on the pumps within the building, they can slide them out onto the concrete and they don't have to put them down in the dirt to work on. Uh, that was his request. I believe it's an increase of about $25,000. It's not a requirement. It just makes things easier. And David was willing to go either way with it, whatever you prefer. But those were his reasonings for requesting it. Any discussion, questions, motion? I'll make a motion that we approve change order number one for slattery construction. Second the motion. Have a motion and second. Crown. Aye. King. Aye. Swager. Aye. Alvitas. Aye. Peterson. Aye. We have five eyes. Any new business? Now what do we do for three more hours? I mean, this is kind of <laughs> this is we go feed the football team. This is the shortest meeting we've had in two Woo! hours. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Summer. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta. My daughter's boyfriend's about to meet her brothers. Oh, boy. And her stepfather. That'd be a good one. Get in between it. Take pictures. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that's gonna go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everybody, and I wish everybody a happy and prosperous New Year. Thank you. Thank you. We're adjourned.